The Washington Redskins travel to Philadelphia to face the Eagles on Sunday. Philadelphia is a three and a half point favorite on BetDAC 53, the total in this game. This is a critical game for both of these teams. The NFC East is all bunched together right now. Dallas and Philadelphia are tied for the division lead at five and five. Washington and the Giants just a game and a half back at three and six. Remember what happened when these teams played in week one. The Eagles really opened up everybody's eyes in the first half of that game. That offense took the Redskins and took the NFL by storm. They ran over 50 plays in the first half alone for over 330 yards, raced out to a big lead, almost let it slip away, tried to take the air out of the ball a little bit in the second half and didn't work out too well. Ended up pulling out a six-point victory, though. But things have changed over the last couple of months. Remember, just two weeks ago, we were saying that NFL defensive coordinators appeared to have figured out the Philadelphia offense. They played back-to-back -back games in weeks 7 and 8 against division opponents, Dallas and the New York Giants, and failed to score a touchdown in either one of those games. The offense only produced three combined points. I, I say failed to score a touchdown. Failed to score an offensive touchdown. They did score a defensive touchdown against the New York Giants, but... Neither Dallas or the Giants have a good defense this season, so it, it looked like that defensive coordinators had just figured out how to stop the Chip, Ke the Chip Kelly offense. But then we have the last two weeks when the Eagles went out to Oakland and scored 49 against the Raiders, and last week they scored 27 in Green Bay in a 14-point win. So all appears to be well with this Philadelphia offense once again. They rank fourth in the league in total yards per game and first in rush yards per game. And the Redskins have a bad defense, Washington 31st in the NFL in points allowed. So we certainly expect Chip Kelly's offense to get it going once again on Sunday. But will they be able to stop the Redskins? Philadelphia 31st in the NFL, next to last in total defense, meaning yards allowed. Also 31st in passing defense. And Washington has been getting their offense going over the last few weeks. Now, I still don't think the Redskins offense is quite as good as the numbers would indicate. They have racked up a lot of their yardage in the second half of games, and in some cases they've been well behind in those games. But they do have a good offense, one of the best 8-10 to 10 offenses in the NFL, and they should pose problems for this Philadelphia defense that, again, has had a lot of problems this season. However, that Philadelphia defense has improved over the last month. You know, week after week, we keep talking about this defense like it's one of the very worst in the NFL because statistically they are very, one of the very worst in the NFL. Again, next to last in total defense and pass defense. But you look at their last six games. They've held six straight opponents to 21 points or fewer, really playing a lot better on that side of the ball. They're playing especially good against the run. And the Washington Redskins, they, they base their offense around the running game. So I think the Philly defense could have some success in this game. Maybe more success than they had back in week one. And I do like the Eagles in this spot. Now, I recognize that the Eagles are an inconsistent team, a little unpredictable. As we said, just a couple of weeks ago, we were saying this offense was dead in the water and had been figured out. And now we're back to saying they're maybe one of the best offenses in the NFL. Uh, so they can be hot and cold, and they have been bad at home this season. Philadelphia has yet to win at home this season, so that might be enough to scare me off here. It might be enough to uh, have me not include this among my best bets. However, I, I don't think Washington's that tough to figure out. I think they're just bad. The Redskins have lost twice as many games as they've won. They really don't have too many impressive wins. Of course, they don't have too many wins at all. They've only won three games. They have a really bad defense, as we said. Their offense is not as good as they were last season. I think the Redskins are headed for double-digit losses. I think they're going to lose this game on Sunday. I have a lean towards Philadelphia, minus 3.5.